The study of the universe spans almost inconceivable extremes of size and distance and time. From cost For security and anonymity, I have decided to let my PC talk for me. This is all that I get when I try to film them. It might have to do with electromagnetic fields. I don't know which end is affecting it, but it destroys my tape. I bought a VHS camera, a VCR, and the tape recorder. Things have been coming into light faster than I can keep track of anymore and I'm starting to think I should keep a record in case something happens to me. I don't want to get removed without leaving something behind. I've started collecting documentaries. Films scared away from telling the whole story by governments, NASA thugs, hunters. This is how it starts. Flight of the Space Shuttle Challenger on Mission 51L. The 25th flight of the Space Shuttle program began at 11.38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 28, 1986. It ended 73 seconds later in a structural breakup of the external tank and orbiter in which the seven crew members perished. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3. At .678 seconds into the flight, a strong puff of gray smoke can be seen spurting from the vicinity of the aft field joint on the right solid rocket booster. The vaporized material streaming from the joint indicates there was not complete sealing action within the joint. This greatly exaggerated computer animation depicts the flexing of the SRB joint. This flexing increased the gap between the tang and clevis at the location of two rubber O-ring seals. Grounded for years until discovery. USA was tired of their arrogant secrecy. NASA has developed a narrative augmenting the truth. Using my father's records and number station leaks, I have assembled NASA's true objectives leading up to the Challenger attack. I was contacted by a partner. He is advising this film. Since I have started this film, hunters and removers have taken note of my activities. He is helping keep me safe. Our trust is implicit. Roger, 20, no, no, simple, 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 simple. we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for man. Despite the bulky space suits and the backpacks containing oxygen, temperature control, and communications equipment, the Apollo 11 crew found they could move easily about the surface. The Apollo missions were designed as a step ladder to extraterrestrial contact. Apollos 1 through 10 gave us the technology needed to land. 
Eleven was designed as a construction mission, laying out the necessary components to encourage contact with outer elements. They were presented as simple exploratory missions. They were the anything sea of but tranquility, Hadley Rill, Taurus Littoral. They explored 60 miles of its surface, and their travels took them to craters, foothills, to explore, to observe, and to sample. These were the first of many experiments which would be taken to the moon to provide man continuing and increasing knowledge about the moon and the vastness of space beyond. And talked about by scientists in laboratories around the world. Not only rocks, tens of thousands of photographs of those strange, exotic features of the moon. The studies will go on. The moon is a strange place for men to be flying to. Apollo 12 engaged in extensive communication with extraterrestrial elements. Though some media was released concerning their encounters, widespread propaganda discredited those who raised questions. A giant glowing UFO hovered above their heads. While in orbit around the moon, a huge object remained in view for a considerable amount of time before it suddenly disappeared. What? An object which is at the same place all the time and appears to be tumbling. Well, we've had it ever since yesterday. It just seems to be tagging along with us. The astronauts repeatedly reported to Mission Control that they were being escorted by unidentified flying objects. After landing on the moon, the astronauts stated that the UFOs were still present in the distance, hovering near a large crater. They were also observed by high military officials who knew what the lights were trying to say. The public had never seen anything like this, whereas the military had already a long history of involvement with these alien visitors, but had kept it from the public. We can say that the recent sightings are in no way connected with any secret development by any agency of the United States. The truth about UFOs may be painful for us to face, and this might provide a continuing rationale for the government to maintain secrecy. But the truth will and must be known eventually. NASA became hasty. Apollo 13 was designed to bring home extraterrestrial entities. But those entities forced the partial destruction of the craft in order to maintain secrecy. <laughs> the external entities punished NASA by withholding further contact opting instead to watch Earth silently from the skies. George Adamski, a professor of philosophy, using his cine camera, took the first moving pictures of alien spacecraft. This film shows the strange flight pattern of these machines. This picture shows three balls beneath the craft serving as condensers for static electricity. This film, also taken by Adamski, shows a telemeter disc, described as being a very small but highly technical reconnaissance craft. Adamski was an amateur astronomer who had a six-inch telescope on the slopes of Mount Palomar. In he observed a huge cigar-shaped UFO and was astounded to see many smaller UFOs emerge from the mother craft. He was able to take a series of photographs of this amazing sight. My personal views on UFOs are that these are alien piloted vehicles. Um, when I say alien, um, I mean alien to anything we know. That possibly they come from other worlds, but I think it's highly likely also that they come from other dimensions. It was decided to create a project called Blue Book, which was designed to suppress public knowledge and create an atmosphere of ridicule around the subject of UFOs. And I know the, the, the job they had. Uh, they were told not to excite the public. Uh, don't uh, rock the boat. In 1983, NASA launched the Challenger shuttle in an attempt to reopen the lines of communication. Across nine missions, it received nothing. Their tank attempt was destroyed through external interference. It was tired of their arrogant secrecy, but the government utilized the disaster to embarrass them and an excuse for their projects and spending with minimal public outcry. 
NASA is not finished. Soon plans will be announced for a midway station in space. This location will provide secrecy from world governments. Power will be redistributed. Participating nations will surrender autonomy under false pretenses. This station will be utilized for communication purposes. This is a recording of the number station that has been following me. White then, black digits, different drivers. Station everywhere I look, I'm noticing cameras, patterns, the air quality. Stop. What? What's in the little voice?